Jamie, Jesus gives us new values, priorities, affections, direction in life, as you pointed out in the sermon today. You spoke about these very briefly, but what does Jesus say these kingdom values are? How do I know that I truly have them, and how can I cultivate them in my own life? Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, because, you know, we very quickly hit what the values are for the kingdom once Christ has come into your life, but we didn't really flesh them out. In fact, I didn't about two minutes. I went through all that stuff. And, uh, and, let me, and let me just say this, that, you know, when somebody comes to Christ, as I said, they have new values, priorities, direction, and affections in their life. And I think there's two ways, very simply put, that you know whether or not those things are becoming real in your life or not. One is through your outward behaviors, obviously. I mean, what decisions you make, uh, what things you tend to embrace and not embrace, um, you know, what, what behaviors are now changed in your life. And I'm not talking about being a legalist, but I'm talking about just, just on an outward level, uh, you know, what kind of shows do you still watch? What kind of shows don't you watch? You know, where's the affections of your heart? And, and what are the things that you do and you don't do? I mean, whether we like it or not, the Bible really does list the fact that our outward behaviors and our lifestyle does matter, and it's an indication of where your, where your heart is and, and, and what your life is focused on and about. So I always encourage people to, to do a gut check on that level. But then even more importantly, the way that we tell whether our priorities and our values and our affections and our direction are different is by looking inside and asking yourself very honestly, and only you and God can know this, where now is your heart? Uh, when I first became a Christian back in 1981, I'm telling you very quickly, the affections of my heart, my desires, the things I was convicted about, not convicted about, changed fairly dramatically. Both the things that I felt guilty about as well as the things that gave joy. John Piper writes about that in all of his writings on desiring God. He says that the number one hallmark of somebody who is a Christian is that you now desire God and the things that he's about. You don't always live it. We're all hypocrites in one sense, but your desires and your affections are very different on the inside now. And so I always encourage people just to ask yourself, where is my heart? So I think between those two indicators, where your heart is on an internal level, as well as then in your outward behaviors, what kind of fruit is being manifest in the decisions and choices you make, give you a good indication of your values, your priorities, your affections, and your direction. And again, we probably need to do an entire sermon series on that sometime, but at least that's enough to get you going on uh, flushing those out in your life right now.